Welcome back. When he's not uh, saving lives in the emergency room at Royal Inland Hospital, Hank Mooney is penning books, or at least this one. Uh, this is called Seesaw. It's a fictional tale between two best friends. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, Hank has been uh, uh, ER physician now for the last seven years, uh, but you, you obviously are also gifted in the arts. I find people either really good at science or really good in English and history, but it seems that you got both gifts. Well, it gives you the opportunity to escape. For, that's what I use the writing for, is um, it's very pressured to work in the emergency department and um, getting out, you need certain forms of escape. And for me, sometimes that's a good escape to walk out and, and write a story. Okay, so, originally yeah. from South Africa. Originally there, yeah. First book that you've penned? This is my first book. Okay, yes. well we have a trailer to this, so I'm thinking maybe we should throw that trailer now and then we'll talk about it after that. Thank you. Let's take a look. together yourself. Oh, thank you. Okay, so that sort of explains it. It's essentially a tale of two best friends. One of them plummets to his death right at the beginning of the book, and then from there we sort of delve into the history of the friendship, the history of who these two people are, and why one of them dies. That's true. I mean, we, we have, that's the premise of the book, is that we know people in our lives all the time, and we don't always know everything about them. And even if it's your best friend, there's sometimes some secrets. So it's a little bit of a surprise to um, Peter, who's the protagonist in the book, um, when his friend dies. So from that perspective, he works backwards and tries to figure out how their friendship built up and where did it come from and how did all these things happen. And it kind of ends with a twist. That's what I can say. Tell me this, from your experience in the ER, do you use some of that knowledge for, for your book? Yeah, everything that um, I write is always on the principle of asking the question, what if? And um, in the emergency department, there's a lot of what ifs, you know, and what if I didn't stop the car? What if I got out of the car? What if I didn't stay in the car? Whatever. Um, so there's a lot of what ifs. And um, so that gives me that um, to work with. And uh, it's a very, very high pressured um, occupation. So this is the escape that I use. To it's a release for you. For sure. The creative release. I still marvel that you have the skill to do the arts and the science. I think that is very great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I love it. So you tomorrow are having a book signing at Chapters at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That's right. We're there at 1 o'clock and um, everybody can come down. Um, we'll have a chat about the book. We'll find the book. It's, um, thank you very much. Tell me this. Are you planning on making a, sort of a sequel or are you planning on writing more books in the future? I'm, um, I'm basically in the process of writing the second book, um, oh. but it's not a sequel to this one. Okay, it's a separate. little bit different. There are some connections, but yeah, it's a different line. Well, good for you. Good for you. This is fantastic. Uh, great read. If you'd like to pick up your own copy tomorrow, one o'clock at Chapters, you can meet uh, Hank Mooney. He will be there to sign your book as well. Uh, best of luck with finishing the second book and thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Susan. All right. Uh, you can also go uh, to online, hankmooney.com. That's his name, hankmooney.com. That is on the screen as well. We're back in two minutes.